Hello and welcome back to the channel. So back in July 2021, I made a video showing a homemade version of the Cyanada 3 meter here on my YouTube channel, Noxyman. This has proved very popular and I have since been asked to make meters for other folks. At first I resisted this because of the time involved in manufacture of breadboards and things. However, I luckily found myself with a gap this year and after quite a number of requests, I decided to design a real circuit board and build up quality meters for sale on a very limited run. So if you're interested, please keep watching. I created these meters to fill a gap. There are budget signal generators and tenor analyzers such as the Tiny SA and the Nano VNA, but there wasn't an affordable option available to hobbyists for Synad measurement. Prices for old versions of these meters can at times be absolutely eye-watering, not to mention the fact that upon purchasing, you often have to replace all of the capacitors, realign the unit, and if you reside here in the UK, you must also supply the meter with 110 volts AC, as many of the meters on sale in the UK are from the States. I probably don't need to explain in detail about how or what a Synad meter is, Safe to say, it is probably one of the most valuable aids that you can use to help you align a radio receiver or audio amplifier or adjust any signal or filter to help eliminate noise. In a very basic way, the following very boiled down explanation explains how the Synad circuit meter does this. The Synad meter is looking for a 1 kHz signal. It basically wants to eat just a 1 kHz signal and let the rest of the noise go by. This noise is rectified and displayed on the Synad meter scale. The more the meter swings to the right as you look at it, the further away from a 1 kHz signal you are. The aim of the game is to get that meter to the minimum deflection when it's listening to any signal fed into it with a 1 kHz tone. I started with the circuit board design. I wanted to use the same case as the old orange meter but remove some of the things that take time to do like board mountings, logos, etc. I also wanted to address the main shortfall of that meter, and that was the range. The meter itself doesn't match the rectifier circuit, so the span of adjustment is right at the top end. Still useful, but not ideal. I designed the board to be the same dimension so it would slide into the case. The board would be two-sided to enable decent component spacing. I didn't want to use surface mount components as I want to make this serviceable for the end user and also I have a lot of gear here in stock that I can use. It took best part of a couple of days to design the board and then a day to check it. There were some errors on the demo meter that, and they have all been sorted on this version. This circuit is a direct clone of the Synada 3 circuit with a few tweaks and the exclusion of the tone and the voltmeter circuit. Otherwise, it's identical, even down to the screen printed component numbers. It only took a couple of weeks to wait for the boards to arrive back from JLC PCB, and I am not sponsored by them at all. However, their service was superb, and I was genuinely surprised by the quality of the boards. It really was quite amazing. Manufacture of the boards here was much more time consuming than I had first thought. I tested every single component with the TC1 before putting them into the boards. Each board took me over one and a half hours to assemble and test. Each board was tested on the scope to check the AGC function, the notch function and the signal to noise levels. A very good thing I did as well because a batch of so-called original stock FETs were in fact subpar so genuine ones were sourced at great expense from the manufacturer as these just have to be right. I spent a lot of time sorting the correct meter for this unit. Now this needs to fit a budget so I can't go buying 150 pound galvanometers for these meters because they simply would be too expensive to make and sell onwards. So I have found meters that work great with this circuit and with the addition of a custom scale will make for great little meters that are easily replaceable and cost effective to replace as well. I printed off the first sample of the case. In total the cases take 15 hours to print for each meter overall. The quality is very good though and the addition of a custom label of, of for the front really sets the meter off and makes it look a bit more than just a homebrew job. 
I decided to add a fused lead and also supply a test lead. So there is really nothing stopping you from just plugging in the unit and using it as each unit is fully calibrated before departure. As you can see, I have decided to call the unit the Synadalyzer. It just seemed to work. I like the strap line I came up with as well of don't take the hiss. You can see this printed in small text on the meter. Quite a few of you have asked for me to make meters, so here they are. These are a limited run though, uh, due to how long they take to make. I might make a few more if there is demand for them. Now pricing. You can see there is a lot of time and effort that goes into making each one, and every single thing costs money these days, doesn't it? Right down to the twist ties and the bag and the box that each meter comes in. There is well over £50 worth of parts in each one and a lot of time invested in each one. So I've settled on a figure that makes it worth my while doing them but doesn't break the bank. If you are interested, contact me on the details shown on the screen. Oh and please don't ask for the PCB or for just the board or for the files. These are being sold as complete meters and are really aimed at folks that don't have the time, eyesight or the tools etc to build their own meters. In testing, the meter matches my cyanidometer very closely, as you might expect. A manual is included with the meter which details all you need to know, calibration procedures and an example test setup of a CB radio using the tiny SA as a signal source and the cyanidolyzer to measure the noise. Using a tiny SA as a signal generator and the cyanidolyzer, you have all you need to align both AN and FM radios without having to keep massive boat anchor signal generators from the 1950s and or use thousands of pounds worth of modern test gear to check and align 40 year old CB radios. These will be on a first come first serve basis as well so be quick. All sales will be done direct with me and each meter will be covered by a warranty for a year. Calibration is easy, but I can do that for a small fee if required. At the moment, sales are UK only. However, if requested, I might release a few meters to eBay on the global shipping program, but that will obviously increase the costs, of course. So buying a meter will hopefully help you, and in turn, you will be helping me make more videos. Thanks for watching, and get in touch if you are interested in purchasing a Synadalyzer meter.